guys, Cindy out of here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. We are going to do another three. I actually only have um, two more videos after this one to do the puzzle, and then I'll do a video putting it together. But um, I'm going to try my best to do all these today. I'm not promising anything, but I will try. We'll see. So we're going to start out with these three. Now, this is the deck of cards. So... I don't understand why I'm getting the same prompts. So, you know, I, I keep shuffling them. I keep moving them around. I have had them out of the de on the desk and just spread them all out and messed them all up. And, you know, I, I just don't get it. So I know there's a lot more prompts in here than the ones that we've seen. So let's just, let's do it again. So here they are. Let's just, whoops, I got three pieces we're going to do today in this video. So let's see. Here's number one, two, three, four, five. There's one. One, two, three, four, and five. Oops. And then we have one more pick. One, two, three. I'm trying to get different cards. I don't know. We'll see. Four and five. All right. So these ones we're going to put back. Let me just throw them together here. I'll stick them in my little envelope. All right. So here we go. Let's see if we have any different prompts today, okay? So here's number one. We have... Scribble all over the page or scribble around the edges. Add an envelope or a pocket. We've done that before. Doodle at top or bottom. Use a jelly print for a focal point or a background point. Turn sideways and continue or turn upside down and continue. That's a new one. Our second one here. Use a punch shape or a die cut. Use spray ink and add water or use ink and add water. Add tag or add folder. Draw one additional prompt or draw three additional prompts. And use modeling paste or paper texture. So I know right now I'm going to draw, um, let's do one additional. So we're going to draw our one additional. And this one says tissue paper or book text. So there's that one. I'm going to set that aside. Set this aside. And then here's the other one. We have use a pen or a pencil. We've seen that before. Use newspaper or music player, paper. Fluid or heavy body paint. Use Stabilo pencil or uh, medium. Stamp and paint or stamp in gesso. So there we go. We have a little bit of different. Um, I'm actually going to start with this one. I might as well. It's right here. And let's see how we're going to do this. Um... We're going to use fluid acrylic, heavy body paint. Actually, I'm going to do the newspaper and stuff first or whatever. Then I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with a pencil. I'll use the pen at the end. I'm going to stamp and paint. I like this. I had to add the T to stamp and gesso. Um, Use pen or pencil, and then I'm going to use the Stabilo. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do with our first one. I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff out, and let's get this started. I hope you guys enjoy, and again, I hope you guys are playing along, because these are actually going to be really cool, and I cannot wait to see what the puzzle is going to look like when we get it together. All right, guys, enjoy.
so we are done with this first set of these. Um, <laughs> let me tell you, they're getting more and more challenging um, as I go along. This is how the first one ended up. It just says whatever. This one was difficult because you really look at the prompts and it's just not easy. It was used newspaper or music paper. I did use, um, it was actually a type of a book text, but I don't, I can't find a newspaper laying around. So I used newspaper. I used, um, I actually used fluid acrylic and I used some heavy body paint as well. So I just did a little bit of both. Now it said to stamp in the paint. I stamped with the paint. So, you know, I took it my own direction. Um, use a pencil or a pen. I used a pen, which is my gel pen. And then I used the Stabilo pencil. Like I said, this one <laughs> was challenging, very challenging. But I like the way it turned out. It's, it's okay. This one was fun. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's put them back in order that I did them. All right, so this one was use a jelly print for a focal or background. I actually used it for a background, and you guys saw the jelly print. Um, I was just playing with my jelly plate yesterday, so um, there's one of the jelly prints. Whoops, I just put that on top of that wet distress ink. And modeling paste, so let's do this. All right, so I used the jelly plate for the background. It said scribble all over the pages or scribble the edges. I was going to do the edges and I thought, eh, I'll just scribble all over it. So that's what I did. Add an envelope or a pocket. I actually added both. There's a pocket behind this um, heart and then there's the envelope. I didn't make a full open envelope uh, because it's very, very tiny. So I just made one that kind of looked like an envelope. And then I put a pocket on as well. Now, it said turn sideways and continue. Um, I don't, I don't, did I do that? Oh, you know what? I don't think I did, but this is already dry. Huh. Yes, I did. I put that pocket in sideways because it's right here. But you know what? I didn't put my heart in sideways. Okay, well, I messed that one up, so that's my fault. But turn sideways and continue, which I actually did, but I then turned it back around. Um, doodle at the top of the page and, or doodle at the bottom. I did doodle at the bottom on my envelope. This one was kind of cute. I just, it's different. Like I said, I cannot wait to see all these together. So there's those two. And then this one, this one I was just having fun playing. Um, this one, let's see. I had to draw an additional prompt or draw three. I drew one and this is the additional prompt that I got. It's either tissue paper or book text. I used tissue paper, and I used a bunch of layers of tissue paper, which I really didn't have to, but I did. Um, I wanted to cover up what the actual puzzle looked like, and I, I could have done that just with the modeling paste, but that's okay. Um, I used the modeling paste. I used spray ink, and I added water. And I also used regular ink and added water. And that was basically on the tag. I just had a lot of fun with this. I did use ink, um, this... It's um, Marabou ink, and for some reason it's leaking, I'm not sure why. But I used that with some water on um, the puzzle piece as well. And then use a punch shape or a die cut. This is a die cut that I have, and then I said add a tag or add a folder. So what I decided to do is I decided to take this tag and use the inks on it and then use the punch shape or the die cut, which I use the die cut. And here we go. This one doesn't have a word on it, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I kind of like it just the way it is. So there we go. There are these three. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I can't wait. Uh, please let me know if you're playing along. I can't wait to see what yours looks like if you are. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.